Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, brothers and sisters. I'm Adnan Rashid, back again. And today I will be talking about a very interesting personality in the Christian history, as well as uh, in the history of Britain and in the history of Europe. This interesting personality is none other than Joseph Priestley. Joseph Priestley was a scientist, a historian, and a theologian par excellence. He was an amazing personality who lived in the 18th century during the Enlightenment period. And he had, he had written works on science. Uh, he is thought to have discovered oxygen. He is also known for his works on theology. He wrote a very famous work titled The Corruptions of Christianity. In my hand, what you see is the first edition of this 18th century book. It was published in 1782. As you can see, the title page, it states, An History of the Corruptions of Christianity, in two volumes by Joseph Priestley, published in 1782. This is the original volume from that period. I bought it recently. I'm a book collector, so I wanted to talk about it very, very quickly. Joseph Priestley was a Unitarian Christian. Why did he become a Unitarian Christian? Having studied the Christian history, the Bible, and uh, the history of the Reformation and other things. He was uh, one of the figures from the Enlightenment period who had embraced Unitarian Christianity or a Unitarian view on Christianity. He, he rejected the doctrine of the Trinity. Many Christian intellectuals from the 18th century who had studied the Bible thoroughly, who had studied the Christian history thoroughly, they decided to either become atheists or deists or Unitarians because the doctrine of the Trinity did not make sense to them. It was simply incomprehensible. It was irrational. It was non-historical or ahistorical. It wasn't historical. It wasn't I mean, historical in the sense that it was made up, but uh, it was not uh, from Jesus Christ. This is what I mean by his, uh, non-historical. So the doctrine of the Trinity couldn't be uh, traced back to Jesus Christ. So that's why he wrote books like this. Okay, in this book, Joseph Priestley simply argues that the doctrine of the Trinity, the doctrine of the Trinity, is a forgery. It was falsely attributed to Jesus Christ and his early companions and uh, in this book he puts his case forward and Unitarian Christianity is still uh, very much alive there are many Unitarian scholars one of them is Anthony Buzzard who has written a book titled the doctrine of the Trinity uh, Christianity's self-inflicted wound okay that's a must read for anyone interested in the history of the doctrine of the Trinity so Joseph Priestley had to leave Britain in the late 18th century because, because his house was attacked in uh, 1790s. Uh, his library was burnt in Birmingham. Uh, his, his, uh, his lab where he was experimenting, he was conducting scientific experiments. That was burnt. Okay, unfortunately, his life was threatened. So he moved to America. He moved to the US and he lived the rest of his life in Pennsylvania where he died and he had his own church there where he promoted uh, Unitarian Christianity. So the point of this video was to introduce Joseph Priestley to you, look into him more and perhaps you will find more interesting ideas about him. Uh, there is a very important biography. Keep the camera here. I'll be back. This is a biography I strongly recommend of Joseph Priestley, okay, it is published by Oxford University Press. Okay, the title of the biography is Joseph Priestley, scientist, philosopher, and theologian. So it will give you a brief history of Joseph Priestley and his his legacy in Christianity. He was a Unitarian Christian who rejected Trinitarianism based upon his solid knowledge of Christian history and the Bible. And he wasn't the only one, by the way. There were many, many, many more Christian theologians and thinkers who had left the doctrine of the Trinity as 
a corruption of Christianity, literally as a corruption of Christianity. Okay, and uh, people like, I mean, who are these people I'm talking about? I'm talking about John Locke. I am talking about William Whiston, um, who was a mathematician in the early 18th century. I am talking about Isaac Newton, most importantly, was a Unitarian Christian, right? Uh, so some of the most educated people in one of the most educated centuries or one of the most influential centuries called the Enlightenment century, the 18th century, left the doctrine of the Trinity and adopted Unitarianism. I hope you will read more about Joseph Priestley and how Christian thinkers and theologians and intellectuals left the doctrine of the Trinity for a Unitarian view. Nowadays, Islam is an option. A lot of people are embracing Islam and Islam is a beautiful option. It's a great option. People are embracing Islam because it's more rational. Uh, it presents a more authentic tra tradition. It presents a more authentic uh, scripture. Uh, Bible is not authentic. It is corrupted. All Christian scholars are unanimous on that. The Bible is not simply not trustworthy. It cannot be attributed to Jesus Christ and his early disciples. Parts of it, of course, can be attributed, uh, but even with a pinch of even though even those parts with a pinch of salt. So, the Quran presents a a, a lot better option for people considering uh, another religion than Christianity because the Trinity doesn't make sense. Thank you so much for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.